Now your certified storm ready forecast from NBC 25. Welcome back everyone, I'm Ahmed Badji. As we get into tonight, we've got cold skies, cold temperatures, clearing skies, all that kind of stuff to deal with tonight. But as we get into tomorrow, we start to finally start that gradual increase in temperature and we've got sunshine coming back too. Here's a live look from our NBC 25 Skycam over Saginaw right now. You can see that cloud, cloud cover still there. Like I mentioned yesterday, it was going to be kind of a divide between the east and the west of I-75, that corridor there. We've been seeing that today, maybe a little extra off to the west and that's been keeping us mild. But the thing is, as we get into tonight, we're going to lose all of it. The overall story for tonight, 29 degrees for your low, clear skies, chilly. We have an average low of about 38 degrees, so we are definitely going to be below that all over the place as we go into tonight. Now, here's the deal. Last night we had the north northeast winds. They were a little breezier. They kept that cloud cover flowing in off the lake to kind of cover everybody from the thumb over towards about Bay County and south. Now, it's basically non-existent for tonight, which means that really only areas along the Lake Huron coastline, they're going to be warmer. Now for tomorrow, though, 56 degrees for your high, mostly sunny skies. So that's pretty good. Slightly warmer day, but still a little below normal. We're not quite there yet. West northwest wind, so a little bit of a shift three to about six miles per hour or so. Not too much of a breeze, but there will be a little one now. Keep an eye on this. There's a lot in this model we need to watch for. 8 o'clock tonight, we're going to start it into motion, and it's going to go a little quick, so keep an eye on this. We've got the clear skies. We've got the clouds moving on out of the area. It's already clear, as you can see, by 8 o'clock tonight. That's what we're going to expect. Off to the west, though, you see this very strong line of cloud cover. There's rain with that. We set it into motion. It starts to move all the way towards us. It continues crawling. Very nice to find line, but it chops in half, basically, until we get that little bit. Do not expect that. As we pause the model towards the end at about 6.30 on Friday, that rain shower, it looks like it's supposed to come in maybe a little earlier on Friday. Don't trust it because we've got this high pressure system that's coming through. That system itself, small disturbance coming in. The air should be too dry, which means by the time we get into Friday afternoon, yes, this part we can believe we can have some extra cloud cover. We're going to watch for partly cloudy skies. Other than that, though, not so much. Tonight, though, we are cooling off across the entire area down to the low 30s, very low 30s. Expect upper 20s in those areas, about Clare County and into Isabella County as well. Everyone in the thumb, though, should be a little warmer. For tomorrow, we heat right on up, and then by tomorrow night, we're finally staying mild overnight down in the 40s. It looks great, and as we head into the beginning of the end of your work week, we're up into the 60s. But the next seven days, you know what? It looks pretty good. We've got sunshine for the rest of the week. Last thing to touch on is the shower activity. Sadie returns right there at the end on Tuesday.